What's up, everybody? It's been a little while, but we are back with, I guess we'll call this episode 31 of the Pitside Podcast. We had yep. a little mini episode in the middle there. Roger and I have been extremely busy. Lots of cool stuff going on. Hometown Heroes con- continues to uh, excite and, and provide entertainment for everybody. It's been some really great racing. So we're going to get all into all of that. Uh, we're also going to talk with our Ladies' Night winner, Jackie Chalmers. Uh, so we're going to get started with all that here in just a second. Uh, stay tuned. Yeah, so like I said, we're back here. Uh, lots going on. It's It's been a few weeks, so there's been some exciting stuff that's happened in between. We had our uh, our Racing for Autism Night, and then just most recently, uh, again, for Hometown Heroes, we had Ladies Night, which, you know what, was I was extremely impressed. Um, yep, yep, me too. Yeah, it, it was. it went so much better than I expected, uh, and... and you know what? I, maybe I shouldn't say that because that's maybe I'm being sexist. I don't know, but I know there were a lot of people in that race that didn't have a lot of experience, but everybody took it very seriously, and uh, you know showed up for practice races and everything. It's pretty cool. I know. Uh, I know Penny Lee had a real good time too. Well, I, I was I was totally impressed. I mean, the lap times were. Uh, you know, Jackie Chalmers was, uh, um, and and you get to know meet her a little bit more. Uh, in the interview and uh but but you know that was kind of expected even though it was her first night out there she uh she was turning some pretty incredible times but the lap times were good from everybody like it was really really good uh uh good lap like like lap times with uh gaps and stuff but the racing was super like we we had a few cautions tonight but the the practice race we ran uh the night before it was two cautions in the whole race you know it was just uh I kudos to all tip of the hat because uh, I'm sure a few were not very comfortable doing that, and I think they all uh, did an incredible job. So uh, uh, tip of the hat, and and I think we can do it better next time with a few more um, uh, a few more practices under their belt and stuff. I think we can add a few dimensions to it to help. Like uh, I thought about like doing maybe at lap with five laps to go, we could throw a caution and, and do wave arounds for the you know. Because they only get to race like once or, you know, not that often. So right. they don't want to be out of it. So get everybody up on the, um, you know, on the same lap for the last five laps. Well, so, uh, I think some of our more litigious gentlemen that race with us probably will have a problem with us doing wave arounds. But uh, they'll just have to deal with it, I suppose. But so, uh, so the, 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 the one funny thing I heard from somebody tonight was, uh, and I'm not naming any names, but was, uh, they asked, how do I file a protest? <laughs> well so you know so there was some competition out there like there was some great racing but there was obviously the competitive side you know so yeah well I, and fun. you know penny lee was kind of a product of her own you know just made a mistake and uh fell to the back and she got out with you know she had one lap she was only one lap down and uh she, but she was not she was disappointed when she finished and well, uh and that, that's the sort of thing where you know a, she could have been a contender, and so you know if you had five to go, I've thought. And, and where this has come from, it's not just for the ladies. I've thought about doing this for like the while well, the retreads we do wave rounds, but I've thought about doing it for some of the day races where you know what, let's just get everybody on the same lap of five to go. And we're out there for fun, and especially in the matinees. And uh, same thing there. And uh, for somebody like Penny, Penny Lita, it, it would have uh, put her back on that main lap, and she would have had a you know a shot at something. So uh, and it would make the racing more exciting. Yeah, but it was I, great. It was great. Yeah, and and uh, again, I I can't speak for anybody else. I know I was uh, my mom was texting me, and she she was saying you know that it went a lot better than she thought it would. She did better than she thought she would, but but like I think Penny Lee surprised herself a little bit by I I think the fact that she was disappointed kind of surprised her. So she uh, I was talking to her. She's not ready for a league yet, but she said if you know if we do another one here or there, she'll definitely do it too. So yeah, uh, well, I, we'll think we'll I think we're on to something. I think we're on to something. We'll definitely be doing another one. Hey, so another topic here is uh, there's a bit of a different background for you. Buddy. I was just getting ready yeah. to mention that before we get too deep into anything. So I took a page out of Mike Schultz's book, right? So he's got the Schultz shed. So 
my in-laws were very kind to us and got us a nice, beautiful shed. And so I guess my mental, my, my gear started turning as soon as we got it and said, you know what, I'm going to move the rig out there. I'll shoot the podcast out there. It's kind of my own little space. So I haven't come up with the name yet. I need some alliteration like like Schultz has got, you know, the Schultz shed. That's that's a good name. Yeah, yeah, so I'm trying yeah. to come up with something. I, I was hoping to have something before we started, but I never did come up with anything. But not only... Do I have a new location, which I do love. It's much roomier than the office I was in before. But I got new headphones. So no more teasing me about my pink headphones. They they did, quite frankly, I would have probably kept using them, but the ear pieces started disintegrating. I was picking little yeah, pink yeah. Uh, pieces of leather out of my ears. Uh, so I, uh, I I splurged a little bit and bought myself a nice new uh, new headset. And it is it is much nicer. So uh, I, can, I, I can hear that. Roger complaining uh, a whole lot better now. If I would have known that, man, um, these I had to replace the ear, you know, the muff, the rubber part and on Amazon. I would have bought some pink ones for you that you could have replaced those, so you could have kept using those pink ones. No, I, I think I, you know, they were they were Beats by by Dre or yeah. whatever. I don't think I think because they're like three or four generations away from that. I don't <laughs> think you could have gotten them. Um, these these are much better, and I enjoy not being mocked quite as much too. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, something else I wanted to talk about. Um, I missed this, you know. Like we haven't had a, uh, other than we had Penny Lee on for that half episode, but um, uh, we, the ladies thing worked great. And part of that was, you know, we had a separate ladies league, um, and it just dawned on me. I think it was like last week. You know, we got Veterans Night coming up. We got uh, a whole charity race coming. Uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. But uh, we're gonna start a Veterans League. Same sort of thing. Veterans only uh, on Veterans Night for Hometown Heroes. Uh, there will be a veterans race, and it'll be only veterans in that race, and uh, and there will be a trophy for that. So um, Andy Patton, a veteran, uh, has been kind enough to volunteer, um, you know, to to donate trophies for that and the charity event. So um, maybe we talk a little bit about the charity event. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, and it'll be similar to stuff we've done in the past. We did the. I think our our charity event last year was called the VE seventy five, which because it. it correspond very closely with the date for for victory in europe day yeah uh, but um we'll, we'll do be doing something very similar um format will Definitely. be a little bit different we we try to change that up each special event a little bit um so we're, we're running that a little bit differently this time uh it'll go go over three nights i don't remember the exact dates roger can rocket roger can mention that in here in a minute uh, but i know we're going to be running a pre, pro late model division uh, we'll run 360s as always, our bread and butter, and then we'll have a dirt mod division as well. And so those will be split yep. up a little bit. Um, I believe, I believe there's two 360 races, or am I misremembering that? No. So it really, it's just um, uh, the Monday night of uh, Veterans that Veterans Night. It's the week before Memorial Day, uh, so it's the appropriate time, and uh, uh, all all the donations will go towards uh, same as before, disabled veterans in the U.S and soldier on in Canada. And uh, so there'll be, there's really just three races. So if everybody remembers, um, you know, all the, the, the renegades and the rebels will, uh, and the dirt mods did run on hometown heroes. So that was in a way uh, that, you know, it was a double header for them, but that was the makeup race because what we're doing now for veterans week is we're using those time slots to run these races. So the Monday night, um, uh, I, I'm not looking right at it, but uh, I'm just going off the top of my head. There'd be uh, 8 o'clock on Monday, there'd be the prolates, and I think it's 75 laps. Uh, the 360s will be open, uh, They and that will be 50 laps. And then um, Wednesday, we'll have the Veterans Only for Veterans Night to celebrate that. And then the Thursday night, uh, we will have um, the Dirt Mods, and that'll be, we're talking about 100 laps for them. So it uh, should be a fun event, and there'll be, you know, uh, um, I think it's something, I don't want to give the prices, but it'll be some sort of discount if you run all three divisions. And there'll be a trophy for each division. There'll be door prizes for all of them. So um, pretty excited about that. Uh, and uh, it's, it, it's going to be a busy time because we're winding the season down. Like the following week is, uh, uh, is championship week. And to do with that, and we've just discussed this briefly, but it, you know, for those that watch these, uh, the podcast, um, hear it here first, I guess. Uh, the Monday, which is actually Memorial Day, and it was just this discussion we had. All of a sudden, realized, okay, the week before Championship Week is 
is uh, uh, Memorial Day. So uh, we'll probably we'll probably delay. That's if you look at the schedule now. Championship night is that Monday night, but we'll really start Championship Week on the Wednesday, and then we'll just like last season, we'll end on the Monday. So that, you know, because uh, with Memorial Day and COVID and all that stuff, people are going to be gone. So there won't be much race. So we'll have some fun races that night. Um, so I, I've, I've thrown all sorts of dates at you, but just check the schedule. You'll see it all there. But uh, that's coming down the pipe, and uh, we're you know pretty pumped about it and uh, uh, can never do enough for the veterans as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's one thing I'll request, and I'm sure we would do something like this on the broadcast, but I'd love to do it on the podcast as well. So if anybody, you can send it to me personally. I'm sure Roger will be glad to receive it as well or send it to the league. Please send us any veteran in your family, uh, whether they've passed or if they're still alive. Please send us a picture and their name, and I'll put together a short little video that we can play just to honor all these guys because we owe more than we have to, to all these guys. Um, so I, I, I really want to do this as best we can. Um, so please send those to me. Again, you can send them to the league page, Roger. Um, I, I'm sure even if you send it to Bill, he'll get it to us. Um, so just just get those to us because we you know we want to honor as many people as possible because they it's, it's the least it's the yeah. least we could do yeah for sure so yeah so you'll be hearing more about that but we just wanted to to, to mention it here um, the hometown heroes has just been unbelievable uh, you know the numbers are starting to drop off a little bit but I think uh, the numbers are dropping off right across the league uh, but I th- it's a function of this time of year. Um, you know, the weather's getting nicer. Uh, you know, the whole COVID thing is, uh, you know, settling a bit. So, Dwindling, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, that's that's not unexpected. But the numbers are still crazy. Like, we're still getting full. We're Instead of sending uh, 15 home, we're only sending three or four home, which in some ways is better because I hate doing that. But uh, the, the support for uh, Wednesday night has been great. And uh, I think we got some great plans ahead. Uh, Want to... Uh, talk a little bit about next season well before we do i just want to and we don't have to get into it deep but that 305 race tonight was absolutely fantastic because the track you know it just doesn't wear out quite as much as with the 360s or the 410s those guys were top and low like running both lines from start to finish it was a i I watched i probably caught the last i guess 15 laps or so but it was a fantastic race i thoroughly enjoyed watching it um, I, I didn't get to mention it in the interview because uh, Joe, Joe took the lead interview there for the winner. Um, but Stephen Gold, <laughs> during the 305 race, went in the, the YouTube chat and posted that he was going to show up for the 410s and put on a show. And uh, sure enough, he put on a show and won the thing. So I think he might have earned his, his nickname Babe Ruth here. Uh, that's, that's, that's what I'm calling him. Uh, so he yeah. kind of called a shot there. The 410 race was great, but again, like the it was, it's been a great night, you know, just with all the the Wednesday night stuff has been. For me, the racing on Mondays is my favorite because I'm out there racing. The Wednesday night stuff is the best to watch. Like it's entertaining. We have new, different stuff going on every week. It's just so much fun, and that's not something we're gonna lose. So I, I'll, I'll kind of lead into you and let you talk a little bit about next season, but. Um, I'm I'm thoroughly encouraged by everybody showing up and and participating. It's it's been a lot of fun, and we appreciate everybody yeah. getting out there. And I, I know y'all are having fun too. And, and, and yeah, and I just shout out to Andy Patton. Andy was in the 305s, uh, had the pull, and uh, just missed the podium. You know, like he was uh, just he had felt fallen back. I think the fifth, and then worked his way back up. Um, but uh and he's been hot he was telling me he's been running a bunch of official 305s and killing it um but and that and he's in i think division three or something and uh so he's at the top of division three so you know the fact that he had this he's you know didn't couldn't quite make the podium says a lot about the quality of drivers in our league but uh yeah he put on he put on a great race and it was just uh uh, you know, I, I was happy for the other guy, but I was—I I felt bad for, for Andy. I was pulling for Andy. To, yeah, me too. To pull that off. Me so, too. Uh, anyways, but an, another shout out I want to give, um, and you know, we can't forget Monday night. I mean, Monday night is our bread and butter, and the racing on Monday nights is just unbelievable. It's just every division, like it's just uh, great, great racing. Um, 
but uh, our uh, NASCAR races. So last Friday, the pickups were at, um, I'm thinking, oh, Michigan. They were at Michigan. And the cup cars were at Darlington? Or is that this week? That's this week. Were, yeah. So they were they were at Kansas City. Kansas, yeah. So so we did fifty laps on Friday. We did seventy five laps on Saturday, and um, not one caution. Like unbelievable. Like we had at, I think eighteen guys in the one race. We had fourteen or fifteen in the other race. Not a caution. Just you know what the the guys are just killing it. it it's uh, so much fun to to run those. And, it, it's 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 stressful because you know you you, uh, you don't want to be the guy that causes the culture. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, uh, it it makes it hard. So yeah. um, I know uh, we did one thing. Uh, so we did it a little bit differently where we and this we'll be doing this going forward. So instead of a uh, an EOL, we you'd start from the pits, which is a bit of so you figure okay. Well, as soon as the caution comes out, you'll catch up to the pack. Well, well, there's there's no caution. So like you're struggling that whole race you're out. Like it just added another dimension to the whole thing. So uh no, that's it's exciting. I mean, you know, there's some great divisions we're running right now. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So so tell us a little bit about what next season looks like. This is obviously the summer season. We're talking yeah. a little bit about numbers are dwindling a little bit. Yeah, so you know, we've been uh like we've been Really, really busy. Preston and I, and John Hine especially, uh, been really busy planning for uh, summer season and uh, a bunch of new stuff coming out. But um, uh, but the one thing we have decided unanimously is we need, you know, it's summer. Uh, we've had a year of COVID. Uh, people are going to be dying to get out, so we will be cutting back. You know, with the I don't plan on being around racing as as much either. So I mean. Uh, Monday night, you know, Monday night will be there for sure. Uh, Hometown Heroes will be there for sure. But some of the other stuff um, we'll be cutting back on and uh, cutting back on some of the broadcasts too, probably because uh, we, we're, we'll lose the Advantage guys. Or they've got the real world stuff doing. So we're still working on, on working through that. Um, not sure what it'll look like exactly, but uh, it will be downsized for the summer. So. Um, and, and not in a bad way. I think it's, uh, you know, the stuff we do best, we'll keep on doing. And um, and I think we'll be running the NASCAR stuff. Uh, the, the one thing we're talking about with this, the Skip Barber series is potentially running the uh, Radical SR8. We've done some trials, and the guys that have tried it uh, love it. Like, it's a fun, fun car. Reminds me, I can go back to uh, the McLaren Can-Am cars back in 69, 70, and... Um, it, it reminds me so much of those cars, and they, and they sound they sound powerful. We we had a race at Mosport the other day. It was great. It was just uh, it was fun. They're, they're a fun car to drive. So we're really, you know, we haven't. That's not etched in stone, but uh, that's one of the things we're looking at. So um, no, it's uh, th things are going good, and uh, I think we're you know we've got a a good project plan going where we're uh, trying to stay on schedule for everything we've got coming down the pipe. We've got. I think a couple of big announcements to make before the season's over, but I uh, uh, just wanted to put the word out there. Yeah, we will be uh, cutting back to the summer just to give some everybody some extra time. You know, yeah. I, I don't think reviewers want to be reviewing in the summertime as much as they are. Definitely, and, and that's the thing. And and we know, like Roger said it earlier, Monday nights are our bread and butter. So essentially, that won't change at all. Like the, that's that's going to maintain, and and as far as I'm concerned, it always will. Like that's that's what we do. But we, we found a lot of things that we do well, and I, I think one thing that we consider now that we learned a lot from Hometown Heroes is giving, giving guys the opportunity to race multiple times in one night is helpful because, you know, it fills fields. So we keep all that stuff in mind. We're not, not opposed to that. When we do announce the schedule, one thing we're going to do a little differently this season is we're actually going to send out a survey that we need everybody to fill out, right? So it's your opportunity to kind of shape the league the way you want it to be. I mean, at least – democratically we have to make some decisions that aren't always popular and it's just because sometimes we see things a different way we're from a promoter standpoint where and not a driver standpoint in some ways right so the best way we can do this we'll want to know what series when we announce the schedule what series you want to participate in but we're also going to give you the opportunity when you know to tell us when the fall season starts up 
what do you want to race? And it doesn't mean that we're going to, if, if everybody goes out and votes for, we want to start an F1 series, it doesn't mean necessarily that we're going to do that. We have to have the bandwidth to be able to, to do that. Um, but we still want to know. So we'll, we'll be sending that out to you too. We'll probably use like a Google form like we usually do because we want to get your feedback. And it also helps us plan for, you know, kind of broadcasting needs and admins and how reviews work and all those different things. We need that information from you. So that'll get sent out to you when, when prior to the, the start of the season, we're trying to give you a couple of weeks to get that done. Obviously, the sooner the better. Um, but we'll we'll be sending that out, and we'll have instructions on the website on how to how to complete that form as well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, lo- lots of cool stuff coming. Um, it's uh, you know, uh, yeah. I think we just. Uh, I want to be at the track, you know, in yeah. the summer at the real track. So uh, there's a there's a lot of. Uh, to do with that so um lots lots of gears turning lots of wheels uh, lots of stuff uh, in the works and um just sorting through that now so this this is our busy time is trying to uh, uh you know do one of these uh, wind up this season get ready for the charity rent event but also working on scheduling and uh and uh sponsorships and volunteers and all that for next season so uh anybody out there interested in helping out just uh, give us a shout um uh, Love to hear from you, and we'll find something for you for sure. And uh, appreciate all the guys that that uh, do all the work with us because uh, we couldn't do it without. But uh, yeah, that, I think that just about wraps it up for me. Uh, I'm not sure. Do you have anything else to add, Preston? No. Why don't we uh, Why don't we jump in the interview here? I I don't think that I've had a chance to talk. I can't remember for sure. If if uh, so, I went to Virginia Motor Speedway two weeks ago. The All Star Circuit of Champions were in. We'll get into that on another episode because uh, that'll take another half hour. Yeah, um, yeah. So so let's jump into the interviews now. We appreciate everybody watching. Um, so we'll we'll jump into this and kind of close out the show. Um, again, I mentioned this already, and we had Carson Cherry who's reached out. Carson, I haven't forgotten about you. We've just had a ton going on. We're gonna get you on the show. Anybody else that's interested in coming on and just you know chewing the fat with Roger and I. Please shoot me a message. We'll be glad to have you. That's what we want to do here. It's not about bringing the most talented guys on, which we've had the privilege of doing, um, or you know, for whatever reason, we just want to get to know guys in the league. We want other people in the league to get to know you as well. So please shoot us a message. Again, we appreciate everybody watching, and uh, we'll see you back here again next week. Yep. And you know, the other one we got to do is we, we got to <laughs> get that guy on for an interview that uh, won his first ever uh, podium that's been in the league since its inception. So we'll get him on. Who are we talking about here? Now wait a minute. You got your now you got your first ever win. You had to have had a podium before two weeks ago. No. Oh, I had I had a podium two weeks. I, I've been on a I've been on a roll. Now a lot of it's retread stuff, right? But uh, I won a podium uh, on uh, on the broadcast. I got an interview. That's the first time ever. So I'm one of those guys, you know, one of those guys that's. Uh, but you won. Um, that that you're leaving us out. Somehow, somehow you're bragging and still managing to be humble at the same time, and I don't understand it at all. No. Roger won two races in a row, which there's not a lot of guys in our league that that can say that at all. Like there's not many guys. So Roger's been real humble about it when he's talking to people individually. I, you know, you see, you see, he tried to bring it up here and then let me, let let me do the fluffing here. I see what's going on. But Roger has been on one hell of a hot streak, and it hasn't ended. I saw. I, I don't. I can't keep up with all the divisions we run. Well, I see a picture pop up the other day. You're in second place again. It's it's. Yep, I, and nobody's commented today uh, on the post. Uh, another second place. Well, know, we we can't we again. we can't keep just, up I'm with all your success, hot, Roger. I'm the hot. I'm the hottest thing in the league right now. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe you know, not. I think no. Okay, well, but, uh, we'll we'll, yeah. we'll give you the challenge. If you can name a driver that's hotter than Roger right now, uh, put it in the comments. I, I don't know if <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you can come up with somebody, but Roger's rolling. <laughs> There's no doubt Roger's rolling. So, on that terrible disappointment, okay. yeah, yeah. Let's shout out to the here, Grand man. Tour. We appreciate everybody watching, yeah. and uh, we'll see you back next week. So, I am really excited about this episode. I've been wanting to. Uh, we've been trying to get. Uh, a setup with uh, our guest here for quite a while, Jackie Chalmers. Um, Jackie was uh, uh, she raced in our uh, Skip Skip Barber division, um, and uh, I'll get in a couple of stories about that in a minute. But just welcome to the show, uh, Jackie. 
Uh, it's nice to be here. So it's really nice to be here because we just finished ladies' night. So, you know, we record this on Wednesday night. And yeah. Jackie just, Jackie killed it. She, uh, she uh, dominated, well, she <laughs> came from behind and, uh, and beat uh, Penny Lee, uh, uh, Preston's wife. So, you know, I'm not sure how happy uh, Preston sorry. is. But, yeah, but it was, uh, it was, a, it was a great run. Because how, much, how much have you run dirt? Um, well, I've done like um, a rally cross, so I, but I haven't done like dirt ovals. That's my first time doing dirt ovals, but I do have experience on, on other places. So I suppose like I have a better understanding of uh, how to take the racing line and how, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So I think one of the cool things here is is uh, this is like our, our first real big international uh, uh, episode because, uh, you know, Preston's sitting in his uh, shed there in uh, Virginia. I'm in Brantford, Ontario, Canada, and Jackie is in uh, Fife, Scotland. So uh, not too far from Edinburgh. So that kind of... Uh, <laughs> you said it's 25. nowhere near Glasgow. It's nowhere <laughs> near Glasgow. <laughs> That sounds like a rivalry or something going on there. So, uh, but but Jackie has a. Um, so I, I got to tell the story. You know, for, Jackie was uh, racing, joined our uh, Skip Barber series on um, Monday nights, and was doing really well. Always finishing in like the top five or whatever. And so, uh, and I, I saw she was from Scotland, but it was the the Jackie. Uh, I'm associating with Jackie Stewart. I had no idea that uh, it was a lady that we we're racing against, and she was just. She was killing all the guys. It was it was great when, uh, yeah. when I found that out. So uh, uh, it's been great. And uh, but you've taken a season off from our Skip Barber. Tell us about that. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm um, competing in the um, Scottish Motor Racing Club esports. Uh, so we're doing um, a spring championship, a summer championship, and an autumn championship. Um, I'd say that it's, it's quite a tough competition because uh, the high, you know, it's quite high high rating for that. And you know, I I kind of finished about middle. I get caught up in a few crashes, so sometimes I just yeah, I can relate at to the that. Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, have you got some uh, real name drivers uh, running in that league? A real name. Um, uh, in the last league, we had um. Uh, GT um, champion um, Sandy Mitchell. Awesome. So he's a British GT champion. Yeah. And we've in this uh, one we've got the Formula Ford champion uh, Jordan Gon. Hang on, I've got to say his name right. Jordan Gonkowski. I know that name. Yep. Yes. Wow. That's a, so. so uh, yeah. So going back a little bit here, um, you, you've got. You're not just new to racing. You're not just new to iRacing. Tell us a little bit about your background in, in the racing world. Yeah, so um, I'll start with uh, what inspired me to take up more racing. So I was like a big, huge Ferrari fan, a big fan of Michael Schumacher. Yeah, you know that is F1 champion. Oh, oh yeah, sometimes. oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I am, I am an F1 junkie. So you, you're, you're safe here. Good. Um, so yeah, I I, I kind of like had this vision that I was going to like maybe one day drive for the uh, Ferrari women's team, but because you realize that there's not any women's teams, like it's just all in one basket. But um, but uh, so I I just went down to the just went down to the um, karting club. Uh, east of Scotland Karting Club, just to test out go kart. Someone else's go kart. So I have to be really careful okay. with driving it, not not crash it. Otherwise, it'll be totally up my back. <laughs> yeah, it's but, not um, it's not it's not a reset button with those things. But um, those outdoor carts compared to the indoor carts, it's just totally mental. Um. So I only got as far as like testing the go kart, 
because it was not financially possible to go into um, outdoor karting. Where I think that's where a lot of people will get thrown out of the sport. You know, maybe there's not so many ladies coming in because they're not going to put their money into something they don't believe in. Uh, like, because there's no, it's not really any like inspiring. F- uh, well, there is inspiring females, but not like ones at the pinnacle of motorsport. You know, like F1. But I, yeah, I do look up to. Have you heard of Danica Patrick? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For IndyCar, I like her. Yeah. Um, she did. She she won the Indy. I think she was the first woman to win the IndyCar race. Yep. Yeah. So, and yeah. then she then she went to NASCAR after that, right? Yeah, she did do NASCAR as well. So you, but you were driving some other car. Um, I'm not familiar with it. It wasn't a Formula V, yeah, but it so, was. Uh, so what I'm going to fast forward. Okay. So I'm going to fast forward. So this was when I was eight. So fast forward to when I was 21. So that's 2016. Um, I, I got involved with the Formula 24 Challenge run by Green Power. Uh, so it's basically electric vehicles like um, that you build the car and you make the car and you race them endurance racing so they don't go particularly fast but it's all about trying to uh, keep it up you know so uh, keep it, keep it running in doing some of the research for for uh, today i saw something on the internet about um uh, you were involved with a college your college with a electric car there as well with some sort of a challenge there is that is that the same thing or is yeah I'm assuming that, that was the pretty much the same thing, yes. Oh, okay. So I, 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 I've been to like the international final at Rockingham. Uh, wow. Uh, so I'd, I'll tell you a funny story. I'll try to anyway. <laughs> Good for the broadcast. Got to tell funny stories. Yes. So I was like racing in, in those cars and the battery was kind of running out. So I was like, no, come on, please get up this hill. And, and I, I stopped in a place where nobody could see me. So I was like, what am I going to do? I just waving my hands. I, I sat there for about, I don't know, a few minutes. It felt like an hour, but yeah. somebody came and rescued me. Thank <laughs> God for that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. so it ran, it did run out of power. Yeah, yeah, it was just run out of power totally. I was hoping to just get to the end of the race, but I didn't. Yeah. No. Yeah. But uh, you, that uh, the the picture I saw with uh, with your college team or whatever, you had finished. You you won that or something, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Um I'd say these cars sound like uh, owls. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, owls. Yeah. So yeah. You, they don't go vroom, vroom, vroom. So you mentioned it was kind of yeah. like endurance racing. Does that mean that you guys had multiple drivers over the course of a race? Yeah, yeah. It was like swap drivers and stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, just took turns. How, how long would that race last? Uh, probably. I just got my bus, but I'm guessing an hour. Okay. An gotcha. hour. Um, but I think, so do you have a background too in uh, broadcasting or, or video? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Um, I do. Um, I, I volunteer for a local football club as a camera operator, um, which I've been doing since 2018. So, uh, I mean, that the team has come uh, third in the league this year, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how, how many teams would be in the division? Um, about 10 or 12. And is it... Is it I haven't counted... <laughs> Is it is it similar to like uh, like the Premier League where where if you finish in the top two or three or four that they get promoted to a upper division? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, 
it, it, it's soccer where you are, but it's football where we oh, are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, Press, you played uh, soccer, didn't you? Yep, football. from, from yeah. the time I was about four years old, and uh, actually even past college I was playing in like an adult league, so I'm, I'm oh, yeah? pretty... Uh, Pretty pretty well versed in the soccer stuff. So you you said you're a big fan of Michael Schumacher. Mm-hmm. So so his son now, right? If, uh, tell me if I got this wrong. But he's he's racing. Like so, what are his chances here? Um, well, it's difficult to tell because he's in a Haas, <laughs> uh, which is not a particularly <laughs> fast car. <laughs> yeah. I think I think maybe he might be like more like Ralph Schumacher, but you you can't tell at this stage. I mean, yeah. It's hard to tell anything when you're in a Haas. As much as I want to pull for them, as because they're the American team, they stink. Uh, you know, they they've already written off the 2021 season and are focusing on 2022. I would be very surprised personally if Mick Schumacher doesn't end up in a Ferrari just because he's Mick Schumacher, which. For for the nostalgia alone is awesome. Like you know, I don't know if he'll have what what Charles Leclerc has, or or you know even Vettel, you know, who didn't live up. But even still, just another Schumacher in that red car will be will be a special day. Yeah, well, I could be the next Ferrari driver. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. So. uh Tell us a little bit about the race tonight. How how did that go, and uh, what what was your experience with it? Well, um, it was obviously, yeah, well, not obviously, but it, it was quite a challenging. Time. Well, it was quite quite a bit faster than everyone, everyone yeah, else. Yeah, you were, you were faster uh, than everybody yeah. else. But, yeah, but it's quite tricky to um, judge like how close you're getting to someone. Because you're coming in so yeah. fast, you're like going to hit someone. <laughs> <laughs> I hate well, to th- think what that's right like in real life. Yeah, I've uh, I've had uh, I've had uh, one of the well, one of the top Canadian sprint car drivers drive my rig, and then he said, other than the G force, it's pretty realistic. So, do you use VR or uh, do you just use what do you what kind of I a rig use, do you have? Uh, I'll let you see it. Um, I have a rig. Down here. This is my steering wheel. Hang on. So that's my steering wheel. That's a Logitech G29. Yeah. And then I have the the pedals here. Are uh, it's too dark. I'm sorry. Are they so the Logitech? I have, I have Logitech. like a, a three pedal with a with a accelerator, brake, and a clutch. Yeah. Is it the Logitech pedals? Yeah. It's Logitech. Yep. And then, what do you use a, a single monitor, triples, or VR? Uh, just a, just a single monitor. Oh, yeah. Uh, Have you tried yeah. VR? Uh, uh, no, um, not yet. But uh, I think I might save off a few. It's yeah. worth it. Get VR. It's worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's a game changer. It really is. It's uh, so. Yeah. I, it made me think of that when you said about coming up on people and all that stuff. It, uh, you know, I think it really helps. From that perspective, but uh, so uh, what car are you racing in the that Scottish league you're in this season? Um, it's um, for the spring one, it's a Mazda MX-5. Uh, for the summer okay. one, it's going to be the Audi, and then the the um, autumn one is still to be confirmed, but it's an open wheel car. Um, Skip Barber, uh, you know, I find them tricky to um, drive on cold tires. Oh yeah, yeah. The, first, the first two yeah. laps are killer. That's for yeah, sure. It's like next thing you know, you're off the track. Whoa. Have you uh, have you tried driving the Radical uh, SR8? Radical, yes, I have. Uh, I did that in like the S um, the SMRC um, bond race we did. Uh, mm, not that good at. We're, <laughs> we're we're talking about maybe switching to that instead of the Skippy uh, next season, but. Uh, uh, so we we we've done some <laughs> test races. Oh, it's fun. It's it's a lot of fun. It's uh, you'd still you'd still kick my butt and uh, every, most everybody else as well. But uh, um, anyways, we we haven't we haven't figured that out just yet. But uh, so what? We, and you're talking about coming back in the fall for the the skip skippies? 
Yeah, um, I, I plan to come back maybe winter, autumn time, you know, when the yeah. SMRC finishes. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah. when... So they, <laughs> when we race at 8 Sorry. o'clock on Sunday, what what time is it there? Because I don't have any good g- gauge of that. Um, probably, it's about like uh, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Yeah, I don't like to skip yeah. barbers that much. But, but uh, yeah. I work at night shift, so it's fine. Yeah. So uh, um, what time is it there right now? Because like here it's like 10.30. Um, It'll be four, almost 4 o'clock in the morning. About yeah. 3, 3. Three thirty. Uh, okay. Well, we appreciate we appreciate you staying up for <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah. Uh, no doubt. Yeah. So what about uh, what about running at some of our dirt races? Have you ever thought about coming out and running? You could run with the guys. You know, those the three like the race that happened before you went out. You could run with those guys. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I saw some of them doing twelves. Yeah. But, yeah. So it's probably be like middle of the pack. Probably. Yeah, so been, I don't know. Yeah. You ever thought about coming out and uh, and racing with in in the playing the dirt? De- definitely after today, yeah, I feel like really, really confident that I could do that. Well, that's awesome. And, and hey, I- I'm not sure if you know we have matinee races here, so like, um, I'm trying to figure out the whole time thing. Um, but they're about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon here, which would be just early evening for you, right? And yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and we run like a fixed 360 and uh, the dirt modified. You can get used to all these crazy cars that we have over here, you know, the dirt modifieds and uh, some of the other ones. So, uh, and they're a lot, looking. They're, they're a lot less uh, intense. So, if you get out and yeah. you, you, know, you spin out and stuff, it's it's no big deal. They're, they're more fun races than anything. Yeah, people don't get as keyed up about Well, it's kind of like running the skippies, right? Nobody gets really too keyed up in our league over the skippies but um uh yeah it's fun so you know uh i think that i think tonight went really really well the whole it was great to see that many ladies come out and um and we didn't even really push it outside of the boundaries of our league so uh you know thinking down the road of uh you know that we could potentially start a whole women's women's division um uh, do you know many other ladies that are racing um, well, I drew a, um, a NASCAR, a ladies NASCAR cup series, so I just basically raced for them, at, again, at a stupid time, <laughs> where yeah. I am. Yeah. I just like racing at stupid times. <laughs> yeah, I'm mad. <laughs> we, uh, we have a cup series that runs Saturday mornings at uh, around 10 o'clock, so that would be... Uh, you know, except, but that'd be the middle of the afternoon on a Saturday, which is probably you wouldn't want to be running cup cars. But um, yeah, you should uh, look into some of that. But but that that is what we are hoping to uh, to build on the whole ladies uh, format. And um, I, I I think we're Preston. I think we're off to a good start. You know, uh, I think it was a it was a great turnout. You know, there's a big variance in skill levels, but just like just like our other divisions, we just have the numbers where we can pair them off but uh, we, we certainly plan on having another one uh, next season so we'll have to make sure you're aware of that but I think you should be out there on uh, Wednesday nights and running with the, the 305s and uh, teaching those guys a lesson that's right yeah definitely yeah yeah uh, did I also mention that I do remote control car racing as well no and I, I, I meant that we've got a lot of guys in the league that run remote control cars Preston's got a remote control car, and you, I think, are you building your own track in the backyard there, Preston? Yeah. So, so Jackie, I don't know if you'll be familiar with this uh, or at at all because you're not as into the dirt stuff. But the the big now, there's a lot all over the country. But one of the bigger national kind of series is called Mud Boss. And what people do, if you're familiar with Traxxas RC cars, they take a slash, which is like the base model, and there's a really uh, what I'd call a cheap conversion. It's 60 65 bucks, And you basically swap out the body in a couple of parts. And you put a dirt, like it looks like a Northeast Dirt Modified body on it. And everybody runs them dirt oval. And they have standardized rules all across the country. And it's, like I said, the, the RC car starts at like 250 bucks or so. You throw the conversion on it. And um, so 
we're doing that. There's nowhere to run these things around here. Like the closest track is like three hours away. So a buddy of mine's kind of getting into it too. I have a couple of other friends that had these same Traxxas. So we just said, you know what, we're going to do it ourselves. And so I, uh, I took a pallet and uh, pull, pulled it behind my lawnmower with some cinder blocks on it and just drove in a circle for, you know, a good hour and wore the track out. So we've got a, right behind the shed back here, there is a, uh, there is a dirt oval track uh, behind in the backyard, uh, which Penny Lee is absolutely in love with. And uh, and so we're uh, we're everybody's still getting their equipment together, but we were out goofing off a couple weekends ago. It's it's a lot of fun. Have yeah. you named the tra- Have you named the track yet? Yes. So uh, last sometime last year, my parents gave me uh, gave us a weeping willow tree. I've always wanted a weeping willow tree. Planted it out like right in the middle of the backyard. It's going to be the centerpiece. Well, we had a hurricane come through a couple months later, and the stake that was on it like fell over so now the tree has this natural bend in it so we call it crooked willow speedway which seems like a pretty sweet name to me so yeah the the same day we got out and started racing on it for the first time dad shows up with a stake and a rope and he straightened it back up and i was like you just ruined it like we've been trying to figure out what to call this thing so anyway that's fun but um something that i've been learning about because there are a lot of guys in our league that do different levels of i know kevin fry has been running some sprint car stuff lately i know there's a lot of road stuff too there's carpet rc racing i'm learning about all this stuff but in in the midst of all this there's a there's actually a an rc simulator called i think it's vrc and guys get like the rc controllers with a usb tether plug them to their computer just like we're doing i racing and they race their rc cars on the computer too and it's supposed to be extremely realistic and um, so I, a buddy of mine who's doing this with us has been doing that too. Um, so do do you do any of that, Jackie? Well, the VR. Not not the VR. So it's it's an actually it's like a simulator for your computer, but you use a regular right. uh, like a regular controller, like um, not a controller, but a I don't know what you call them, a remote for your RC car, but you race on your computer. Oh. Um... Yeah, no, I haven't done that, but um, I, I, I might look, look into that. I'll send you the link to it. You can get started for free, apparently. Yeah, uh, that would be cool. Sounds so like what, fun. What do you race with the RC stuff? Um. Yeah, well, we have two classes of cars. We have two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Um. But I, I just race the four-wheel drive car. What what is the track surface made of? Is it like asphalt or carpet or? It, it's it, we race on the grass. Okay. Track. Gotcha. Yeah. Is there is there jumps and stuff in it or? Uh yeah well there's there's like hills and stuff. Oh and and how do you do there? Um, I'm I'm still trying to get the hang of it. I'd I'd say I'm better at sim racing than I am at remote control car racing, but I I do enjoy going down to the track and racing my car. Yeah. And so how long have you been sim racing? Um, for about a year. I'll be it'll be a year and um, and then coming up nineteenth of May. <laughs> so, like that's any kind of sim racing, or just sim- um, i racing. Yeah, well, I started in um, Project Cars to just just a few, just like a month before that, because SMRC did start in um, uh, Project Cars too. So I made my like debut in round three of Heat Three, which is why I took number three. But oh, okay. um, I, I'm number three to one in ovals because I took that number because of oh, because uh, somebody else was number three in the Ladies, so I just uh, so like three, two, one, go. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So you've only been eye racing for a year. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're hurting some feelings. <laughs> yeah, you're hurting my feelings. Now. So. But so. I do. I I I practice at least I don't know four hours a day. Oh, do you? So I'm hard. I'm hard going at it. I work yeah. really, really hard at it. Good. I Good do. I do other stuff as well, but like, uh, it, 
basically just have to like work every day like go on i racing every day to be actual up there because it's really really tough because it's really competitive uh what's your favorite car to drive right you know i'm gonna say it's the ferrari gt3 uh because i'm a ferrari fan it's typical i would <laughs> say that wouldn't i <laughs> yeah 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 of course so have you right. have you run that new the Dollara? Uh, I think it's an R O one. It's like the prototype supposed to be F one car. What what do you think about that? I I haven't actually um, been in that yet. Oh, it's um, it's a wild one. It 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 drives like you um you it feels like you would imagine an F one car does. I've run both F one you know cars that I race and had, and they're awesome. But then you get in the dollar, and it just it feels like you're a breakneck speed the whole time. So if you have a chance to run it, I recommend it. It is, it's a tricky car to drive, but it's a ton of fun. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll have a look into that. Um, maybe it's, I've tried the um, oh the F1 Classic. Um, yeah. You, the '69 model. That's yeah. just the Lotus. That's really hard. The, the Lotus Forty Nine. Yeah, yeah, the lot is so, 69, I think. Yeah. So, so like the old Jimmy Clark car. Yeah, yeah, that that, I mean, that one. So, I, I mean, I can go back. I remember, like, the, <laughs> <laughs> I remember the, the Jimmy Clark car when Jimmy Clark and all that stuff. So, uh, and when Jackie Stewart raced, which is, uh, you know, an awesome, awesome driver back in the day. But, uh, but you know, got to thank you for coming on. And, um, all right, cheers. We, we look forward to having you out with the league uh, a lot more. You know, we've been, uh, we're, we're really proud of the Ladies League, but I think we're, we're also proud that, like, you were the first one that uh, came out and raced against the guys. And, uh, and like I say, you, you uh, put a lot of us in place. So um, you're, we'd love to see out more with the guys, but uh, we really hoping to grow this Ladies uh, League. So uh, um, hoping you'll be at the forefront of that. And, uh, Again, congratulations on the, you know, the the first ever historic uh, women's race in the history of the GeForce Racing League. So uh, kudos to you for that, uh, especially getting in a car you hadn't driven before. So uh, uh, that's that's pretty cool, and um, it, it's been great finally catching up to you because you know you and I have chatted uh, in Messenger and emails, and uh, never actually had a chance to actually chat. So. Uh, Really appreciate you taking the time, especially this time of night for you, and <laughs> yeah. staying, staying up for us, because uh, that's very much appreciated. And uh, just ho hope to see you down the road and uh, and uh, see you on the track with us soon. Yeah, cool. Uh, I'll lift my get a champagne bottle. That would have yeah, been that would have yeah. been epic. It's you should much. you should have definitely done that. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been good. I don't have a champagne it. bottle. Yeah. Well, I will pretend it. Okay, let's yeah. uh, finish it off maybe with the Italian national anthem because I like that tune. <laughs> we'll we'll right. see. We'll okay. see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thanks a lot, Jackie. We right, appreciate. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks so much. See you later. Bye bye.